Hey guys, Joe the Guy here again to talk about these Max Bite wrenches. Now I put out a video earlier this week, gave an overview of the Max Bite wrenches, and now I just wanted to go over their high features. I've been using them for a little bit, and a lot of people say a wrench is a wrench is a wrench. Well, that's just simply not true. I really actually like these. These are very professional, and that Max Bite grip has a huge effect on removing stuck or rusted fasteners, slightly reduced, you know, rust changes the size, can make it oversized, undersized, you flake rust off, and it changes the grab of an open side wrench. Now the closed side works great, as most wrenches do, but where these come into play is that I-beam strength. Now I talked about the I-beam strength before. It gives you, you know, just this indent here, with a little thicker material surface, the wrench isn't heavy, it's still about equal weight to everything else out there, but it gives you that huge strength advantage when you're forcing on it, it's the right angle, it's just not gonna flex, it's gonna put your power to the fastener where you want it. You're not overworking it or twisting and causing it to move off. Now, again, the head design, we're gonna look up close there, get close in on that wrench, and you can see those max bite grips. You can see the indentations of the hex in the bottom. And what this gives you is massive grip on all around the bolt head or nut instead of just the two sides. It's got these gripping actions which really bite into the fastener if it's not going to come off and it doesn't have you slip off. Now that is a huge thing that is needed. And really these wrenches perform well. To just give it a simple test, they don't spread easy as a lot of open head wrenches are and that's really the main focus of a wrench is is it made of a good quality steel. And as stated, these do come with a lifetime warranty. So professional work use, you're going to love them. And now I'm going to go over to the bench vise, just kind of show you a, a little bit of these couple features that I just talked about with that Max Bite. Okay, and now here is what the angle I wanted to show you. So this is a blue point wrench. This is on a higher end scale, if you know your wrenches. And you can see that this does not have the hex. So when you're grabbing a bolt, you're only grabbing these two edges here. And there's blade, and so when your wrench starts spreading, it starts actually knurling off that corner. And that's where you get your wrench that, much with enough force, on a rusty bolt or something, this is just going to slide right off. Now this is where the Milwaukee Max Bite comes into play. It's got that hex design. You're grabbing not only on this edge here with this grip here, but you're grabbing on that edge, that one, and this one. On more than just the corner, you're grabbing good you know, space on the hex bolt. So this really gives you that that grip and you can put a lot of force into this you know wrench and I'm doing quite a bit and you don't really see any you don't get really a lot of flex out of the wrench and it doesn't spread open now compared to this one this is another high-end wrench you know you get a little bit of a flex out of it and so that's the ideal about this I-beam strength is you're putting all your work into the fastener you know and not more effort into just bending the wrench. Close side does great doesn't have really any slop to it it's 12 point you know it performs exactly and it's a little thicker so it grabs more of the fastener than a thinner wrench you know it's a decent sized thickness on the closed end to grab that whole fastener instead of just half of it or a little less and cause some rounding. Just really good I beam strength. And when you compare it to most wrenches in the market, like I said, the wrench isn't heavy by any means, but it gives you that nice flat side. So if you're not wearing gloves, you can really press your hand into it without hurting it. As opposed to other wrenches where that thin, you're, I mean, it's going to have some fatigue on the hand. This. Nice firm grip in the hand. It feels good. The I-beam here kind of gives you a spot for your fingers. So you get really good grip on the wrench, really good ergonomics of it. It's just fantastic. Okay, and for this one, this is a very rusty cap. 
figure out what size this is. And you'll see if this max bite can even do it. I think this is 13 to be truly honest. Now this wrench probably ain't going to do it anymore. It's got to be a 12. All right. And again, this is a rusty fastener. That max bite gives you that grip on a rusty bolt. That is not gonna move. I don't believe I'll be able to get this fastener apart without heat. I mean, it is broken, but when we're pulling on it, the wrench has not slipped off. It is gripping into that thing. Now, this isn't coming off with without heat, but this gives you a chance to see what I'm really talking about with this rusty bolt. You're gripping that fastener, and even though it's rusty and maybe down a size, you're not just rounding it off, you're really grabbing into, you know, what it is. Now, if this was more securely mounted in the bench, I could put some force in this, I'll probably just snap the bolt off, but in my testing on other fasteners, it showed that it just did it quite well. So honestly, final review is these things are five out of five. I have 100% on a must buy level. These are professional, these are for technicians, these are for tradesmen. They seem to really listen to, you know, whoever was designing this really knew what they were actually, you know, being used for. The I-beam strength not only provides strength and, you know, keeping it from flexing, that max bite gripping the fasteners on all sides. And they're actually like a professional length. A lot of times you get some wrench kits that this thing will be three quarters of the size it is. They do work, they do do the job, but you're gonna need leverage to get fasteners off. That's the whole point. Working smarter, not harder. And now, even the I-beam giving the cushion and ergonomics of the grip for the wrench, it's an all out win. Metric, standard, they carry both, you know, and like I said, that professional length, this is a blue point, you know, blue point ratchet wrench. And here is the three quarter, comparable in size. I don't, I can go grab the other 19. And you look how they're the same length. So this is on par with other tools on the market. Now if you use the tool on a professional level, these things are a must buy it. Like I said, the chrome finish is great. It doesn't ship. I've been using these pretty solidly every day for a week. High feature is the really visible number. You look at the wrench, you know exactly what it is. This is a three quarter. If it's laying out there, like, oh yeah, it's a three quarter. Um, big Milwaukee logo. The raised Milwaukee logo. You'll always know that this wrench is yours. If it's laying on the floor with you know a couple other people, hey, that's my Milwaukee wrench. It's seriously, I mean, all out. They did a really great job designing these. I am in love with them. Milwaukee, if you're listening, make these in a ratchet wrench for sure will be a high seller, if you haven't already been working on it. But these now are taking over, you know, my other wrenches, moving aside, these things are in the primary use. Great job, great design, absolute must buy. I'll have links in the description on where you can get them. Hope you liked the review, hit a like if you did, and if this is the first time stopping by the channel, subscribe for a lot more videos like this one. Thanks guys, have a good day.